I might, I might swear in this video. I would like to respond, echo, and add to a video that was posted yesterday by Ryan at the Lone Ranger. So if you missed it, TLDR, Pink Bike had a podcast out where two of the hosts were just kind of being like, sort of just shitty about people who post con like mountain bike content on the internet. One, and I'm paraphrasing here, was to the effect of like, people only become mountain bike influencers because they couldn't be racers. And then further to that, it was like, oh, the, YouTube is getting filled with all this really crappy, unwatchable POV GoPro footage. And then finishes it with like, it's fine if you wanna document your ride, just don't post it on YouTube. Which is like a shitty thing to say. And Ryan was good enough to just post a video like this up onto the Lone Ranger, calling that out. Big fan. No surprise really, some negative elitist pet PV thing was said and they got called out on it. It's just like kind of a crappy thing to say. It has a negative effect on some of the people who might aspire to do what you guys do. So maybe don't put people down. Now, I would like to echo the end of Ryan's video by saying, yes, yes, you should post your mountain bike videos. If you're starting out riding mountain bikes, you think you wanna make mountain bike videos, uh, you just wanna document some trails in your area, you, uh, I think you would actually be surprised by how well received a lot of that will be over time. Maybe not right away, but as you build your character on your YouTube channel, people learn who you are, they see where you're at, they see where you progress to, and that is exciting. That's a lot of the fun of YouTube. And then for whatever it's worth, I just kinda wanna add what like making mountain bike content, bicycle content in general, has sort of been like, like what it looks like for me. Because I definitely, I think I interact with the camera pretty well. I definitely seem confident, hopefully. Like Ryan said in his video, putting yourself on the internet is scary. And even now, after like 700 or 800 videos, I still, when I'm going to hit upload, I'm like, I don't know. And I think that at any moment, if I was to like hear someone at a larger media company say something like, hey man, just, just, don't bother with that. I I could probably be pretty quick to just not do it. Uh, okay, I'm just not gonna shut it down. Which would be a complete and utter shame because like yesterday, the video I posted with this, I did a suicide, that was the first ever suicide no-hander that I had ever done. It's certainly not amazing, it's not groundbreaking, it's not like what anybody on the internet that you've seen do one do, but that was my first one I did it on an e-bike. I am proud of that. And it's kind of a shame to think that someone could make me lose that pride, lose that hype, and not want to show it because it, you know, maybe it was, it's, eh, it's not good enough. Don't put it, fuck that. So if you're thinking about starting to post your mountain bike videos, start doing it. If you're doing it and you're having fun doing it and you want to keep doing it, keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing it because, well, the reasons that I just said. Ryan, nice job on a very well thought out video. Uh, 